In this video, we'll be looking at what's new uh, kinda in Subtitle Edit 3.6.9 and 3.6.10 because these two were released a day apart uh, because the official version was 3.6.9 but because of a missing DLL file that is a dynamic link library file uh, we had to get uh, Subtitle Edit 3.6.10 and this one uh, was, a, was an issue when trying to install uh, the whisper.cpp uh, because in uh, the latest version 3.6.9 and 3.6.10 uh, whisper is a little bit faster we also have uh, the option to translate audio from one language into english transcripts for example a spanish audio into english transcripts using whisper so you can just click on this to uh, see the log uh, and you'll see what happened here so this is support for mp4 web vtt in command line convert added whisper translate to english option add some support for frame rate in spruce format allow minimize for audio to text windows set x11 to default mpv uh, video output on linux add shortcut for assa background box edc and then you have some improved options here and some fixed issues here so uh, what i'm going to do let's just go back I'm going to download the latest version right here and do a clean and fresh install so it might be a little bit long uh, uh, so if you've never used subtitle edit you can stick around but if you have you can still update uh, your subtitle edit to the latest version and I'm on Windows uh, so I'm going to use this version the setup uh, because uh, the reason why I'm, I've clicked on this to download this specifically is because it gives kind of a warning uh, but uh, it doesn't mean that subtitle edit has a virus or anything of that sort so here we go subtitle edit isn't commonly downloaded make sure you try subtitle edit so if you don't want to get this issue you can use the setup.zip but I'll click on these three dots and say keep and then I'll get this uh, particular notification and then just say keep anyway next up I'll just click on it to open and I'll allow it we can actually uh, now minimize everything we have here so let's install subtitle edit 3.6.10 click ok I accept just click on next next and then you can say also have translations click on next click on next you can create a desktop shortcut uh, I'll not do this or this I'll just click on install now so here we go it's done optimizing performance and here we go uh, that's the latest version of subtitle edit and you'll now see uh, the change log it's right here if you're satisfied click on next and then we can just launch subtitle edit click on finish so here we are and a couple of things first uh, is that you might need to go to options settings and then we go to the video player and download mpvlib let's just do that uh, the reason for that is I noticed that if you da add a video uh, without downloading this then you get a black and white video uh, for some strange reason uh, but let's download this because mpvlib also helps you see the positioning of your subtitles in the video so uh, this really comes in handy uh, and it's what I recommend you get it uh, the minute you do a clean or fresh install of subtitle edit uh, let's just give it a couple of seconds and we're done here uh, but that is the first thing i do uh, all the time if i'm doing a fresh and clean install so the mpv uh, lib was downloaded and it's ready to use that's okay click okay so now you can go to video open video file just select the video and there we go click to add waveform now we go to the interesting part is uh, to use whisper so you go to video audio to text via whisper you download ffmpeg here we go it doesn't take long as well so here we go uh, and uh, the good thing is that subtitle edit is pretty lightweight and everything is more or less sequential if you want to do something and it needs maybe ffmpeg and you don't have it installed it's going to download if you want to use the libvosc models you need to download and it's pretty simple uh, how everything works if you want to use whisper and in this version uh, the latest version whisper is extremely fast so let's click ok and then we'll need to download whisper.cpp click on yes 
Uh, so in version 3.6.9, there was an error uh, with the DLL, uh, but now everything is okay. So here we go, we have everything as it is. So the next thing we need to do is we'll need to download a model. If you click on this, you don't have a model. Just click on this, three dots here. And it's going to give us a pop-up and you have a bunch of models to choose from. So is this the base, base.en specifically for just English, large, medium, whatever, and so on and so forth. I'll go for the base because this covers uh, multiple languages uh, in that you're going to use. So click on download and this will probably take a little bit more time uh, because my internet connection is not that fast. Uh, so I'll be back once we're done uh, downloading uh, this particular model. So we're almost done here at 95%, just a couple of more percentages to go. And the base model will be downloaded and ready to use. So there we go, 100%. And the base model is available for us to use. Now, I've mentioned that there's a new Whisper translate option where you can translate audio from maybe Spanish and uh, Spanish, Japanese. These have a lower word error rate, so you get better accuracy with that from one language, let's say we click on this, let's say this particular video was in something like uh, maybe Spanish. Spanish, uh, here we go, click on that. Now the translate to English option is going to be available. So if you click on it and then click on generate, it's going to translate if this particular video was in Spanish into an English transcript. Because it's not, I'll uncheck that, go back to English and then the second thing that has happened to Whisper is that it's faster, much, much faster. Normally uh, in subtitle edit 3.6.8, uh, a video of about three minutes was taking about the same amount of time. In this one, let's click on generate. It's taking about 26 seconds and we also have a timer right here so that you can see how long it took uh, to automatically convert the audio stream in this to text. So let's just give it like 12 more seconds, or actually it's going to be done in, in just a couple of seconds. So uh, you kind of have an idea of how long it's going to take with this particular mode, 24 seconds. So it's done, subtitles look good. Uh, they are no longer bulky. So there are a bunch of improvements. I believe there was a character limit set uh, for uh, Whisper to give us a character limit of about 86 characters. Uh, which is good. Uh, then also I see that there was an issue that in the beta versions that was there, it's no longer there. So uh, if I actually play this. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before. To so uh, you'll see that there are a couple of issues here and there, but the transcript is good. So it's really up to you to fine tune what you need to fine tune. So it may take some time uh, and hopefully it keeps getting better uh, because for, for example, right here, we would love this to begin somewhere right there. And then uh, there are a couple of things here that need some sorting. I hope that it gets better by the day uh, in terms of fixing this. Uh, but simply put, uh, those are the few new things in subtitle edit 3.6.9 and 3.6.10, the update. Uh, to cater for the missing uh, DLL file, uh, but go try it out, see if it works out for you. Uh, the audio to text is much faster. We now have a countdown timer or a timer for how much time is, is actually uh, done. I wish it was a countdown to see how much time is remaining. And then uh, the subtitles are a little bit not in a bulky or bulky way. Uh, and then finally, we have the option to translate from uh, different languages to English in uh, using Whisper. So go test it out and see if this is something you'd like to use. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's of value to you.